They're singers, comedians, political activists and New Zealand national treasures. And they've now also newly appointed dames as well. We're just loving having Jules and Linda, aka the Top Twins, in the studio. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I love you guys in the kitchen too. We should do. We should do. You should come in more often and cook yeah, because that's yeah. great. That is so entertaining. It's a big long yeah. title we've got now. Yeah. When you have to introduce us, yeah. isn't it? It's a very big long title. Um, yeah. Because you've had quite a year though, haven't you? Apart from the dames thing, you've yeah. also celebrated turning sixty. Yes. Um, so you've been entertaining us for thirty years as well. I mean, yeah. that's incredible. How yep. does the whole dame thing feel? That's uh, pretty good. Um, you know. Yeah. That, you, you, Wake up the following morning after you've, you know, realised you're a dame. It, you still sort of kind of feel the same. Yeah, it's not it's like you're having girls still. Don't have a life-changing moment or anything like that. But it, it must have meant a lot to you, to your mum and dad, though. I would it's imagine. A, oh, they were over the moon. I think yeah. it meant more to them actually. Yeah. That generation, that you know, to get a damehood is really yeah. up there, big time. You know, yeah. and we realise that it's a great honour. Yeah. It did seem like an amazing day when it all happened and it yeah. finally all sunk in and everything. So and the rebels the whole day? got their medals. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> the rebels got their medals. Yeah. <laughs> so what now was the, the day was beautiful, and uh, you know. Dame um, Patsy Reddy, you know, she's pretty amazing Governor General, and um, yeah. um, she made it really easy. And and it was she, she I think her with a lot with consultation from the local iwi, they came up with the idea of the korowai, which is the cloak, which is which women beautiful. weren't allowed to be touched yeah. with the sword. So she came so, up with that we we the, she said the, there's the nothing special now, we'll, for the girls. Will be placed around, <laughs> uh, you know, us, and so that's what happened. And they made two because we they decided to do it together. There's one being held in Wellington, one in Auckland now, and from now on. All the new dames in New Zealand will wear those. Wear that when oh, they get that's, presented. That's it's amazing. It's so part of amazing. history. Yeah. Yeah. The Tonga yep. has been, you know, generated, yep. and that, that is pretty special, you know. And and they'll not, they'll have a list of all the names that's, that have worn that korowai. Oh, it's that amazing. is beautiful yeah, and yeah, sure. well deserved as well. But I was curious, what are the perks that come with it apart from the There's title? There's a lot of perks. Uh, well, you get a medal. Flee, you get a medal. Get a medal. Yeah. <laughs> you get two medals actually. Yeah. You have to wear two medals yeah. to signify that you're yeah. a dame. And so far, big. it's actually cost us quite a lot of money being dame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, to, you everybody know. wants you at their event. Yeah. Right. Well, I bet they do. They invite yeah. you, and it's yeah. not paid. And that's okay, because, you know, uh, I guess for a long time, we've been doing our service anyway. Yeah. You know, so uh, you know we're always doing something, Ronald McDonald House or breast yep. cancer awareness or something like that. Yep. So yeah. When do, you, when do you actually get to wear the medals though? Because that's any time we like. Really? Any time we yeah. like. Yeah. Pop them on together. I wear them around the house. Yeah, I would too. Vacuum yeah. <laughs> cleaning. I think I'm a dame, but I still got a vacuum. <laughs> still got a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the the it's the honour of it. Yeah. 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 It yeah. gives you that's a, that's the manner. And of it was it. also yeah. you know when we decided to accept this, it was also about all the other people that had come with us over the years and you know were part of all the political movements and helped change this country to try and make it a better place you know yeah. so it was an acknowledgement to all those people that were you know and, had and, the same and, beliefs and, and when you look at it they say it was for our contribution to music but really you can't separate politics from music so it's no. about all of it's about the big picture yeah. and we you know we're we're so proud of new zealand and and honestly it's great because i guess what they were trying to say to us is we're new zealand's proud of you yeah, yeah well 100 so. percent yeah, yeah. Proud of you. Mm. yeah when did you first get into singing i know you produced an album back in 1982 yeah. called the yeah. top twins go vinyl was that, that was the first yeah. one that yeah. was the first when vinyl was actually in yeah no, it's, 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 it's in again, in again. <laughs> it's in again. <laughs> make another one yeah, yeah. yeah. good so, yeah the dames make a vinyl record um yeah. but no i think you know we, we, it started off early you know us singing we used to sing at the you know when we we're on the farm as kids and stuff like that but then it then it just evolved into you know the career that we have so yeah we've always been singing do, do you like to be known as singers more than entertainers or no, do you we're like entertainers. No, it's a whole package yeah. it's the whole yeah. package you, you go to a top twin show you get songs you get comedy you get characters and yeah. now you get yeah. you, you can't you <laughs> can't <laughs> even get a recipe <laughs> exactly <laughs> maybe a jar of jam or something you yeah, never know because right. i know you like to get your condiments when you're on tour don't you yeah, we do. <laughs> um, so if you had to pull out some highlights from your career what do you, what do you reckon that those moments would be I think, you know, touring overseas was, you know, was was great because it, we, we left New Zealand. We know that, you know, that Kiwis loved us, yeah. but would the rest of the world like mm. us? And, and when you know, we go overseas, we never change the show. Yeah. We do exactly the same show as we would in New Zealand because when we see when we see someone come from overseas, we want to see what they're bringing from their yeah. country. Mm. You know, we don't want we don't want you know we wouldn't want any American artists to start singing Pokeri Kariana. We no. think it was weird. Yeah. So basically, when we go from New Zealand, we sing what we sing here. 
here. Yeah. We sing the Untouchable Girls and we sing songs about local farm hand and New Zealand icon and all those songs that Camp Mother and Camp Leader And the do. characters and everything like that. We thought, well, how would they relate, you know, to the characters, you know, because they're pretty New Zealand. Very but, New but Zealand. But they, yeah. they did yeah. love them. We, we had a lovely time in uh, um, uh, Edinburgh, at the festival in Edinburgh. We played in Ireland. Canada was just great. We loved Canada. Well, they yeah. get us, don't they? Yeah, they, they, do. they, they yeah. get us, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. the, and the other thing about it, too, is that um, it, uh, we, it works anywhere in the world. We yeah. found out that it does work anywhere Well, we only go to countries where it does work. <laughs> <laughs> Security. So you, know, yeah. you, you sort of brought up around the Huntley area. Is it true that you joined the Territorial yes. Army? Yes, it is true. Yeah. Oh, we okay. got a free trip to the South Island with right. a cabbage train. And off we were in the <laughs> Army. For, we did our basic training. Yeah. And look, the thing is that uh, later on in, in our political career as, you know, activists, um, it came in pretty handy because, you know, when the Springboks tour happened, on those last few games, they had containers and they had the razor wire. That's right. Okay. Mm. Now, Jules we, and I were the only protesters who had been in the army at that point because nobody else was going to be. Razor wire Our job was to take killed. the razor wire out so we could get through the past <laughs> container. I love you can't it. just go in and cut it because it's spring loaded. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't You've got to know what back. to do. You've got to cut yeah. it out in sections and bring it together. Oh, that's yes. incredible. Yes. Yes. And <laughs> is it true that your, your icons in China as well? Is that right? Or no, was it China or was it North Korea? No, North no. Korea, was What happened was that somehow our documentary was smuggled into North Korea. And apparently we are huge lesbian icons in North Korea yeah. because North Korea says there are no lesbians, right. but yeah. there are. Yeah. So you're their go-to And we're not girls. touring there. Because well, we'd I'm probably be killed. <laughs> 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 we wouldn't come back from that show. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> the last hurrah. Yeah, that's um, right. Well, a brilliant book that you've produced there. As you said while we were cooking, it's not just recipes, it's stories from New Zealanders. Yeah. It's a culinary journey. Start at the start and go to the end. Yeah. But something else I do love, um, the fact that you managed to squeeze in a Topps ginger nuts. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that was yeah, a hard exactly. wrestle, wasn't it? Yeah, well, we had this it. moment where we thought, OK, because... Yeah, Mum we'll gave us the we'll recipe. The Nana's recipe, <laughs> Nana Top's recipe, Here's ginger Nana nuts. Tops. When Mum got the recipe from Here's Nana, Nana Top. Top. When Mum got the recipe from Nana Top, oh. Mum knew that it was okay that she was going to be able to marry Dad. Because once you got that recipe, you were in. <laughs> that, well, you were in. Oh, oh, so and then you've... Mum gave us the recipe. We said, what are we going to do with it? And then we said, let's make ginger nuts commercially. And we went, oh, no, that sounds stupid. Let's just give it to New Zealanders. And they can make Nana's ginger nuts as well. Well, I'm looking forward to trying Nana's ginger yep. nuts. Yeah, they're make great. Yep. And, and make sure you pat your, when you roll them into a little ball, give them a squish and wet, put, wet your hand with a bit of water. Yeah. Push Squeeze it in the middle. middle and then pat the outside edge down as well. Ooh. Good tips. Good yeah. tips. Hey, we've run out of time, which That's is right. such a shame because yeah. I want some more intel. Thank you both so much no for problem. joining us. The Top <laughs> Twins' latest book, Top <laughs> Country, A Culinary Journey, is available at all good bookstores right now. Remember to mush down the ginger nuts. Yeah, no, yeah. the tips.